Good morning everybody, how are we all doing today? Thursday today, I'm in the Mystic Coffee Lounge, 11 till 2, so not long, I'm gonna be getting out very soon, raining here, so I might get a tad wet. So if you wanna come and collect any goodies, any stock, any crystals, or if you wanna book a reading, or if you want to come and take away, then pop in. Or if you just wanna see me and say hi, on your way past, then pop in. Okay, let's have a look. So, um, I said yesterday that the moon was in Taurus and actually it was in Gemini. So, and now it's in, um, it, the, we're coming into Pisces season, not the moon, Pisces season. So we're moving into Pisces season. So definitely you'll be feeling a little bit extra sensitive. It's a time to go with the flow. It's a time to see different um, sides of things. It's a time for endings and new beginnings because of the way that they're swimming. So look at closure, look at things that are coming to an end. Hopefully this sort of lockdown, what are we now? Coming to the end of February, aren't we? Almost there. Um, I think it will see things lifted in Pisces season in the next four weeks. Um, and yeah, and paying attention to dreams. Has anyone have been having mad dreams? The last couple of nights, oh my God, I can't even, I've been getting two dreams, two mental dreams. So I have one dream and then I wake up about six-ish and then recall that and then I drop back to sleep again until about nine and then I have another crazy dream so paying attention to dreams at the moment and your psychic abilities it's a good time to enhance your psychic abilities at the moment with the Pisces energy so um, is the moon still in it's in Mercury um, you've got Saturn square Uranus Bloody blood. Oh no, it's Thursday, so Saturn is still. Oh, we've got the moon in, in Uranus. Moon in my, I don't know, I can't see it properly. I can't see it. I should have had a check before I got on. Anyway, let's have a look at your cards. Let's have a look at your cards. If anyone wants a card, please do share. Let me know that you've shared, and I will have a look for you. It is the world. The world card today. Interesting, because I posted that up on my other page. So the world, so loose ends being tied up, things come in full circle, perfect as we moved into Pisces season. This card is about attainment, it's about completion. Amanda says, my dreams have been crazy too. I'd like to um, do interpretations of all the dreams, but it gets too hectic. Morning Kim, uh, thanks for sharing Amanda. Morning Sarah, Thank morning Roz, morning Teresa. Morning Louise, good morning Kaylee, good morning Tony, good morning Mandy, good morning everyone, Sharon, everyone. So the world, loose ends being tied up, things come in full circle, new opportunities, new chapters. So have a look around yourself about where you need to maybe finish something, tie up these loose ends and where it's a positive um, completed cycle. So it'd be looking at maybe something's just completed or something is completing. I think we had the death card yesterday, didn't we? So again, that makes a, a completed cycle. So there's a theme going on. We can't travel so much at the moment, but the world can be travel or movement of some kind. Obviously on the net, we can get wherever we want. So it could be to do with that. But it's about balance. It's about attainment and taking the knowledge that you've learned in the past, in this past chapter, taking it forward with you into the next chapter but feeling happy, content and balanced as you go into this new chapter. So loose ends being tied up and things are coming full circle, end of one chapter, going into another. That's a gorgeous image, isn't it? Gorgeous image. I wonder if I look like that on my wedding day. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, should start the plan soon. Before you know it, everything, everything's gonna get booked up, isn't it? Anyway, let's have a look. Who's done me some shares? Teresa Holden, thank you for sharing. Let's have a little card for you. You have the Seven of Cups, Teresa. So the Seven of Cups is all about choices. Now, thanks for the hearts. It's indicating that you've got too many choices, too many things to think about, too much emotion is involved, and you haven't got enough facts or you haven't got enough depth within the situation to really make a proper choice. So it asks you to weigh things up a bit more. It asks you to do a bit more research, take a bit more time. You know what it's like when you go and you see something really, really blingy, really shiny, that lovely bit of cheap jewellery and you think, yeah, I'm gonna grab it. And then within a couple of days or weeks, it's gone dull because it's cheap and nasty. Well, that's what this card is like. Don't go for the first option. Don't go for the, um, the obvious option. Maybe you need to do a bit more research. Maybe you need to take a bit more time in doing something or choosing something so that you make the right choice there. Could be a card of fantasy, illusions, maybe again with the Pisces moon, that's uh, the Pisces energy rather, it's ruled by Neptune, so all about fantasy, all about illusions, 
maybe you are being a bit too dreamy and thinking something's going to be wonderful or somebody's going to change and perhaps they won't really so have a little check in with your reality there Teresa but any choices you've got to make any decisions you've got to make then um, do a bit more research on them okay so I hope that makes sense for you there Okay, um, so we're going to have a little look at our, where are we, at our positive message cards. Da, 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 da. Here's our positive message cards. What's this one? I am beautiful inside and out. I am beautiful inside and out. That is what your affirmation is for today. Stick that somewhere. Put that somewhere that reminds you how wonderful you are that it reminds you that you are beautiful inside and out. That is your affirmation. And don't let anyone tell you you're not. Okay. Um, Teresa says, thank you. It was my mother's funeral last Wednesday. Oh, I'm ever so sorry about that. So with this card then, Teresa, you may be finding that your mind obviously is all over the place. So if you have got any important decisions, your emotions at the moment are getting in the way, which is no wonder, but it's saying don't make a decision yet. Don't do something until you've got more clarity. All right. Okay, I hope you enjoyed those little messages for today. Enjoy the Pisces energy. Do pay attention to your dreams. Tap into your psychic abilities a bit. On the Mystic River Lounge, uh, on the Mystic Coffee Lounge page, I do uh, a couple of times a week a little psychic test. So if you want to join in that, just check out the page and you can join in the psychic test. There'll be a new one going up today. If you do want to book a full reading, just contact me, message me, uh, or check out the website www.katemay.co.uk and I will be back tomorrow morning. I've got a new tarot course coming up. Um, what are we now? Coming into March. I think it is going to start March. So if you want any details on the new tarot course to learn the cards, then uh, just drop me a message or put a comment in and then I can put you, uh, give you a message and blah, blah, blah. Right. Have a great day, everyone. See you later.